Welcome back everybody to the KS Moto Cafe. Hope you all enjoyed last week's episode whether or not you should opt to buy new or used motorcycle for your next purchase. And I was quite surprised by how many people actually preferred to buy new over used. But I think it comes down to your personal preference and learning from your own past. For this week's episode, I want to talk a little bit about the Harley Davidson's new V-Twin engine, the Revolution Max, and how this could be a game changer for the Harley Davidson brand, and potentially the new Sportster series. As well, this week's episode is the last one of the month, therefore I'll be announcing the lucky winner of a $25 gift card from either Revzilla or Fortnite, so stay tuned and let's hit that intro button. So what is the Revolution Max? Well, to start things off, the Revolution Max is a liquid-cooled 60-degree V-twin that that produces 150 base horsepower and 90 foot-pounds of torque within its 1250cc displacement. And although the Rebel Max sounds like it's a brand new engine for Harley, it actually has been in the works for 20 years. The first motorcycle that was released by Harley that had the Revolution engine on it was the V-Rod back in 2001. Back then, the first iteration of the Revolution engine had 1131 cc of displacement and produced roughly 115 base horsepower. And a few years later, in 2008, the engine had slight improvements to increase the displacement to 1247, which pushed the engine to 120 base horsepower and 85 foot-pounds of torque at 7,000 RPMs. These bikes were beasts on the road. But unfortunately, these V-Rods were a little bit ahead of its time and were not well received by the traditional Harley enthusiast and eventually was cancelled in 2017. However, the Revolution engine lived on through its smaller bike programs such as the Street Rod 500 and the 750. The engines that were under the Street Rods were called the Revolution X and the 749cc displacement engine roughly 53 horsepower and 47.9 foot-pounds of torque. To compare that to my Iron 883, which obviously has a higher displacement, my Evo engine produces roughly 49 horsepower at 54 foot-pounds of torque and it's 60 pounds heavier than the street rod. On a straightaway race, the 750 will win any day against my stock bike. But again, in 2020, Harley canceled the street rod series for reasons unknown. But my guess is that they are making room for a Sportster slash Street Rod hybrid and calling it a new Sportster with the Revolution Max engine. So what do we know about the Revolution Max? We already know that the Harley's new adventure motorcycle, the Pan America, will be released this year with the 1250 Revolution Max engine and surprisingly at a lower than expected price tag of $20,000 US. And to me, that means Harley most likely has already recorporated the R&D capital costs through the V-Rod and Street Rod series and are ready to produce some cheaper and faster and better performing motorcycles under the small and mid-size V-Twins. Although they have not named it yet, we already know and saw some glimpses of the custom 1250 which looks a lot like the improved version of the V-Rod and few pictures that show a little bit more of a smaller looking motorcycle with the Revolution Max engine on it. Other than the 1250cc, there were talks of the 975cc version of the Revolution Max on the Street Fighter series, but since last fall, the Street Fighter series have gone pretty quiet. At this time, we already know that the Evolution engine that is in the Sportsters have an expiry date due to the increasing emission standards across the world, and what better way is there to swap out the Evolution engine with the better performing Revolution Max? This way, the Sportsters can finally compete with the likes of the Indian Scouts and soon to be very popular Honda Rebel 1100. I think the writings are on the wall and I'm very excited to see where Harley Davidson takes this engine and I hope it's enough to attract new customers to the Harley Davidson and finally get some good performing motorcycles under the 1200cc's. So what do you think? Do you think the introduction of the Revolution Max is the end of the Evo engine for Sportsters? Just comment below. With that said, let's go check out who won the gift card for the month of February. In the Excel spreadsheet on the left is a used to username. In the middle is the number of comments that's made in the month of February. On the right is the number assigned based on the number of comments that's been made. 
and it adds up to 180 for the month of Feb. So now we'll open up the calculator.net which creates a random number generator, lower limit of 1, upper limit of 180, and you just click generate and the number 52 is a result. So going back to the Excel spreadsheet, finding the number 52, and the winner is Critter Moto. Congratulations, Critter Moto. You have won the second monthly prize from KS Moto Cafe, and you have a choice between $25 from Fort9 or Revzilla of your choice. Just send me an email on either Instagram or ksmotocafe at gmail.com to claim your prize. And for everyone else, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Peace.